Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to do an acrylic pour painting on a 10 by 10 canvas. This will be a split cup pour, um, and this is part of the 30 Days, 30 Different Acrylic Pour series. And the colors we're using today are Electric Purple, which I actually don't have a ton of this left, so I'm just going to prop this up, if I can get it to prop, maybe? There we go. Uh, electric Pink. And I'm just going to do one color in each of these compartments here. And this will just show how the, um, the split cup keeps all the colors separate. I'm going to use the glow green. I don't have a lot of this left. But I want to see how this looks since it won't really be blended in as much. And then finally, deep sea. This, this is a 10 ounce split cup. Um, so it holds about 10 ounces total. Hopefully we have enough of that electric purple. I didn't really think that part through, so we'll just go with what we have. I'll let that um, drip for just a little bit and then we'll do the pour. So it looks like we actually have a pretty good amount on um, all the different, like they're all pretty even, so I'm pretty happy with that. And then start pouring here in the middle. This is also on a spinner. So far I'm loving it. I'm going to go ahead and spin the spinner also. Kind of, it'll keep the color separate but it also like gives us a little bit of every color in every kind of quadrant of the canvas. A little bit of a straight pour here at the end, try not to drip. All right, I think that was fairly successful. Set that to the side and then we'll spin it out and see what we get. Okay. bitty spin just to try to get that corner covered. Even though we spun it, I still feel like we kind of have quadrants here. <laughs> like mainly blue here, mainly pink here, purple and pink there. And then that the glow in the dark is a pretty like um, transparent color. So you can definitely see it here, but once it dries, you may or may not be able to see it. So don't really think much will develop here since there's no metallics and just based off of the technique. However, I could be wrong. <laughs> it's going to make a liar out of me. Um, we'll let it sit here for a minute just in case and then we'll come in and do the close up if it changes. Well, we don't have the budget for that. Here we are for the close-up and yeah it definitely spoke too soon look at all of these gorgeous cells here the only explanation i have for how i got these is i did shape the bottles before pouring some of those bottles i hadn't used in a little bit and i also just like cells so i don't mind shaking it ahead of time but yeah really pretty love the color combination love what it's doing here and how the colors stayed separate and then with the colors kind of going on top of and underneath each other, creating these really cool cells. I almost forgot to show it in the dark. It's really hard to like get a crisp image in the dark, but you can see it glowing. And then that's the cup <laughs> upside down um, on the parchment paper. So I just wanna come back real quick and show you the painting in the dark. Let me know what you think of this piece in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and it makes you happy. Woo!